Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. Guys, this is an all 12 on what's going on. Um, also guys, if you're looking for anything, how to book a reading, um, link to our Etsy page for our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, or anything else, You'll find it listed in the description box below the video. So let's get into this. What's going on for Aries? What's going on? Let's see if I can get a clarifying deck real quick. Let's try. Let's try this one. Okay, so tell me what's going on for Aries. What's going on with the connection for Aries? Fear and mystery. Fear and mystery. You might be afraid that somebody's hiding something from you. So tell me about this, Aries. What's happening, Aries? You're at a crossroads about a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You feel like this person, you, it's just causing you to need strength. You feel like that you're being juggled. I feel like this is like you feeling some kind of grief, overwhelming grief or sorrow here with this five of cups energy, not just um, regret, but I feel like this could be guilt. It could be sorrow. It could be um, feeling a feeling of loss. This is why you need strength. You feel like you're being juggled in a relationship. Um, there may be. You're not, this is about a relationship that ended with a third party. I feel like you have fear, like there's, that they're still hiding something from you, Aries. But I feel like that they've ended it with a third party. But you may be obsessed. You may be obsessed with this and you're not talking about it. You may feel like, well, they cheated on me in the past. They're probably still doing it. You're, you're feeling like this person may have gone back to the person they, they walked away from, a queen of pentacles. I feel like this is just in you. This is just in your own head. Like you're fearing the worst, right? You're fearing that they're hiding something. But I feel like obsessed with your commitment you're not talking about it, though. You're not saying anything. You're holding back um, because you don't want to give them a reason to rush in and rush out. Um, Aries, I feel like that you have fear, that the, but don't manifest this because what you put your attention on is what comes true, right? So don't focus on that. Don't focus on your fear of them cheating on you because they may have done it in the past. Um, I feel like there's, there's an ending with this person. They're not with that person. Okay, so tell me, Taurus, what's going on, Taurus? What's happening, Taurus? Someone's ignoring your text. Somebody's ignoring your text, Taurus. They're ignoring uh, the text. They may be ignoring your phone calls. They may be ignoring your text. This has got you having sleepless nights. Like, what are they up to? You may, um, you may, you may stand your ground with somebody when you do communicate. Working on a past mistake. Whatever's hidden, they're hiding something from you. And it, you may have gotten in an argument with this person. Because you're having sleepless nights here with this nine of swords 
and it has to do with you standing your ground in communication. Um, this is about working on a past mistake. The argument could have been that they need to fix something that they've done before. Like, like, look, this is something you can, you keep repeating a past mistake, working on a past mistake. Whatever was hidden in this argument, they're not telling you everything in this argument that you had, right? Their partner, instead they walked away, they ghosted you. They don't want to own it. They don't want to own what they've done. And you know part of it, but you don't know all of it. So be patient. Um, I feel like be patient because I feel like this will turn herself around. Um, you don't want to miss an opportunity for a new beginning. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure what this person has done, but you could be up. Yeah. This person, whatever they're hiding, I don't feel like it's, it's major. It's a king of swords. He's trying to master his emotions. To rush in. I feel like this person just is like cooling off. So whatever you guys were fighting about, instead of this person facing it, they walked away. Uh, maybe they didn't want to hear it. Maybe whatever the case may be, um, Taurus, whatever the case may be, they didn't want to hear it. They, they didn't want to own it right? It caused them a tower moment. So they're saying, be patient. I, I don't feel like you'll miss an opportunity for a new passionate beginning in this relationship and a new beginning of love and abundance. I feel like just give it a minute. If they ghosted you, it's not as bad as you think it is, is what I'm trying to say. I feel like this person just didn't want to face the, the firing squad. Maybe you came on a little hot. You are a bull, right? You are a bull. I'm just saying. Okay, I flipped those all around, so let's fix that. Okay. Okay, so tell me about Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? What's going on, Gemini? Oh. Feel like you're gonna get justice and divine timing. Tell me about Gemini. Okay, so Gemini, divine timing, you'll have justice. So there may have been a third party illuminating. This may have eliminate, illuminated a third party. Now, for you, this could be something from your past that you're leaving out in the cold. You're no longer speaking to somebody. This third party, you're leaving the past in the past. Now, I did a live today. And the same thing came up for you. So you're leaving the past in the past. You're not, you're not dealing with a third party. This was something that you had to overcome. Um, it may have been on cancer because that cancer was dealing with a king of swords. If you are illuminated that you've left somebody out in the cold, it's illuminating that this third party is out in the cold and that you're no longer speaking to this person. You are telling somebody that you've moved on. Divine timing is here for you. You're coming in as a king of wands. You've made your choice. You've made your choice. You decided to heal yourself. You're manifesting love with an empress. You are definitely 
the um, it could be dealing with a cancer specifically based on that live because this was exactly what you were dealing with um, king of swords you had to let go of your past and in order to have love with the person that you want to have love with here, manifesting this new beginning in love with this empress. So yes, you will, divine timings at play, divine timings right there, where love is concerned. There's your justice. You're getting love. It's meant to be. What's meant to be will be. Plain and simple. You got love coming towards you, um, Gemini. You got love coming towards you. Okay, so tell me about cancer. Cancer, 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 cancer. What do we got with my cancers? What's happening? Can what's going on, cancer? What's going on? Hook up. Hook up and text. Oh, okay. Cancer, you <laughs> I said look on my face. Cancer, um, you got somebody texting you. Want to have a booty call? got the booty call text the booty call text okay so somebody may be talking to you on the phone they may be texting you that they want to hook up cancer you're more monogamous than that usually so for cancers too now cancer singles there are cancer singles that are ready to mingle but the, the for the majority of cancers i feel you're more of a monogamous person there we're all about the relationship we're not about being a one night stand we're not a notch in a belt a belt loop so i feel like you may be ending something and leaving somebody out in the cold and moving on if somebody's texting you now okay so this is for the cancers who are monogamous okay this is for somebody who believes in having a relationship that they want to be with somebody that they're in love with and not somebody who just wants to hit it and quit it okay right because i feel like for you you don't have time for it so you will end this conversation and leave this person on red you'll leave them out in the cold because you've got bigger fish to fry you're moving forward to celebrate a relationship or you could be reconciling a relationship cancer someone might see you as being very cold uh, they're coming in in feminine energy, but that doesn't matter. They could be a masculine, could be a feminine. Take it out, resonates with you. Everybody's got a cup of tea is different, right? I feel like someone feels like you're, oh, they're going to be, they're kind of, they're kind of upset with you. Obsessed with their wish, queen of swords. Somebody wants to, now they're, they're coming in as a queen of swords, but that doesn't matter. It could be a masculine energy here. They're obsessed with getting what they want, but you cut them off and put them on red. You're showing up in the middle of your read cancer. You're looking back at this person, how they juggle other people. You're not interested in that. You're about the commitment. You're about a commitment. You don't want to bother with nonsense, right? You know, you want a strong commitment. You're not looking for a one night stand. So you want justice in a situation. You want to be married. You want to have a family. This is what you're looking for. You're not interested in somebody in the past who has juggled. Now you may have been with this person in the past, but they may have cheated on you. So I feel like for you, Cancer, you're not, you're not interested when this person's talking to you and telling you they want to hook up. You know that th this person's obsessed with their wish, but they're not going to get it. They're definitely not going to get it, right? They see that there's no equal give and take here and that you've walked away from the conversation. They're not going, it doesn't matter how much kicking and screaming they do you're not buy, buying it right i feel like you want to be married you want to get married you want to have a family you're not interested in somebody who is just there for a good time not a long time you're not you're not a hookup you don't it's not working for you okay so tell me about leo leo what's going on leo what's going on what's going on with my leos what's going on with my leos what do we got leo 
Ooh, there's a lot of conversations here. Now, addiction, toxic, attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession. Okay. They may be talking to you about their, their addiction. They could be obsessed with communicating to you. They could be a little obsessed about you. So let's see what we got, Leo. Oh, you're trapped in your head. You're trapped. You're thinking a lot about it, uh, right? You're unhappy. Oh, okay. Okay. So Leo, this is either you or this is the other person. Take it out. Resonates with you. But you, you are having trouble in a family situation. This could be a marriage. This could be a commitment. Take it out resonates with you, but you are trapped in your head and unhappy about a commitment and you want to communicate about all the drama. You want to talk about it. You want to talk about it. So it could be you. You want to talk about all the drama and all the burden. Okay. So I see what's happening. Okay. Leo, if you meet somebody, don't talk about your family problems to them. They're looking to have a new passionate beginning and maybe even start something up with you, but they'll make a choice. They'll make a choice not to, because you, it's like you, all you, you may be obsessed with talking about the family, uh, problems. So sometimes we, uh, word vomit when we're on first dates or second dates, maybe we share too much. Maybe that's part of the problem, but I feel like this, because you can't get this out of your head. I, I feel like for you, maybe you need to just take a step back and not talk to anybody until you reconcile all of this, because this is what's really where your, your mind is. Your mind isn't on having a conversation with somebody about love and sex or getting to know somebody, uh, in, in that way. Um, but this is like, they'll make a decision. They'll walk away from you because they feel like all you want to talk about is your problems with your ex. That's what I'm getting. So be careful with that. We, we, we can, we can tend to do that. Uh, now this could be, shoe could be on the other foot, Leo. You might be the one walking away from this other person because all they want to talk about is their ex. Okay. So it, this could go either way. There wasn't a specific person there. So don't, you know, um, this could be you walking away, Leo, because all this person does is talk about their ex. Okay. So tell me about Virgo. What's going on, Virgo? Mystery and fear with an ex lover. Okay, you got the same thing as Aries. And you guys seen me shuffle this. So tell me about... Tell me about Virgo. Some hidden fears. You got some fears, some hidden fears here about an ex. What's your hidden fears about an ex? Oh, you're manifesting the truth of mind games and manipulation. Okay. Okay. And the burden. Okay. You're manifesting the truth about an ending. You think that somebody played mind games or manipulated somebody you felt like was your person. You're mastering your emotions about this other person because it's almost like they were cut out. Um, it's almost like, does you, do you think that your ex may be a, uh, a witch? That's what I'm feeling like. Yeah. So tell me about the magician here. Uh, I felt it. I felt it. I just felt it in my soul. Okay. I felt it in my soul manifesting the devil here. Okay. So this person Virgo, you have valid reasons to have fear of whatever's hidden with an ex. Your ex was doing magic. Your ex was doing magic here. Okay. So you manifested the truth because of the mind games and manipulation they did on a third party causing a burden, a burden that caused an ending. 
to st with your Ten of Cups. This is somebody you felt very close to, very that you could have had a family with, that you could have uh, gone all the way with, um, like having a nice relationship, a great relationship. And now you're mastering your emotions because that was cut out. It was cut out because of an argument that caused the tower moment and now you want justice. So if this ex, you said something to this ex and they got angry and so they caused an ending to a relationship. They caused your relationship to break apart, Virgo. They did. And now you're wanting justice for this, but you have hidden fears about this. Your fears are validated where your ex is concerned because they, they are working um, on the dark side. They are working on the dark side. They are doing black magic. Okay, so tell me about Libra. What's going on, Libra? What is going on, Libra? Oh, okay. So I feel like you may be invited to... Um, celebrate or an event or a gathering um social media you may hear about it on social media so let's see what we got are we getting the invite here you your judgment is they betrayed you like you had an opportunity for wish fulfillment here pre-empress so you may have found out about somebody having a party that you weren't invited to libra in and out they didn't communicate see so you feel betrayed your judgment is you feel betrayed because there was an opportunity for wish fulfillment for you but somebody was in and out um and they never i feel like they didn't communicate about the celebration that they moved forward um so i feel like this person was they cut you out they cut you out. You're trapped in your head about the burden. Why wasn't I invited? Why wasn't I invited to the party? That's kind of what's happening here, Libra. Um, you may have found out that somebody had a party on social media and you weren't, you weren't invited. And you feel cut out and betrayed by this burden. So your judgment is this person may have betrayed you. Okay, so tell me about Scorpio. Okay, so somebody may think the grass is greener because somebody else has got more money than you do. Okay, this is what's happening, Scorpio. There's illuminating the burden that somebody is back and forth about the relationship. The harsh truth is that you're broken hearted and needing to recover, needing strength, looking back at the past and all the drama. Well, the, all the drama came by, you know, this is Scorpio, Scorpio. When they think the grass is greener because of the other person's pockets, this person isn't about love on any level. They're about what they can get out of the situation whether it is a man or a woman when the grass is greener based on finances okay you had a relationship illuminating the burden there's a there's burdens in the relationship but back and forth the harsh truth is heartbreaking you you can't you it's like you're being juggled but the the harsh truth is heartbreaking and you're needing to recover and need strength looking back at the past drama this person wasn't about you to begin with this person's about what how they line their pockets whether this is a male or a female if it's a masculine in scorpio this person wasn't getting enough louis vuitton bags from you or you weren't doing their hair or getting their nails done or you weren't doing something for them uh financially materially this person's very very materialistic so whether this is you scorpio or the other person the reason the relationship with you didn't work out was you didn't have enough money for them they would they weren't getting what they wanted out of the situation so tell me about sagittarius sagittarius please unexpected relationship Okay, Sagittarius.
something unexpected in the relationship. So somebody, somebody, ooh, just a real shitbird. Just a real shitbird. There's deception and somebody wants a victory with their, with their drama. And, and to have no equal give and take and causing you to be unhappy. Even though you might want to offer that cup to them, they're walking away from you. Manifesting, moving on to another choice. You didn't even see it coming. It was, you got blindsided. Sagittarius, you got blindsided by this person. One minute they were great and the next minute they were acting like a fool. And the, there's no equal give and take leaving you unhappy. They're walking away, manifesting, moving on with a choice. It's almost like you didn't even see it coming. Unexpected in the relationship. That's what you didn't even see it coming. Somebody just ripped the rug right out from underneath you. Tell me about Capricorn. What's going on, Capricorn? Oh, I'm going to. Letting go, family situation, releasing things that giving up, being patient. Okay, so surrender where family situation is concerned. Capricorn. What do we got? So you see that somebody's being very cold and calculated. And so they're, they're ending this and they're cutting you out and walking away. And now you're needing strength at a crossroads because there's no equal give and take. You're manifesting being guarded and defensive. You feel like somebody has cut you off in a relationship, a family situation. They just, they turned cold as ice on you and they just let you go. They're moving on with a third party is why. So there's, this is like a surrender, a release. The, this is letting go. Um, this person, you can see that this person's being cold and calculated. That they're ending something and cutting you out, walking away. You know, this person's not even giving you a reason why they're not even telling you what's happening. They're just doing this. This person's just cutting you off because they've met somebody new. Um, Capricorn. Okay. So tell me about Aquarius. What's going on Aquarius single and at a crossroads. Somebody is single and at a crossroads. Okay. So the reason you're single and at a crossroads is you're having sleepless nights. It has to do with you reconciling some kind of betrayal, but you're very guarded. This is you having to stand your ground because of a choice. Your wish fulfillment would to have a new passionate beginning. You want to communicate, but I feel like for you, this is trying to recover, but you feel like this person cheated. You feel like this person cheated because you have a choice here. Now, if they end it and have a victory, okay, so... So... Aquarius, I feel like for you, you're single and at a crossroads. This is like you want to reconcile this, this betrayal, but you have to stand your ground or to overcome this obstacle. There was a choice here and someone needs to close the cycle out, a karmic cycle in order to have a victory in a new passionate beginning. So things have got to change drastically for this to work. You, you want to communicate about the relationship. So you don't like being single. You, you actually are saying, Let, let's try to work this out. Let's try to figure this out. What, what do we need to overcome for this to work out? You don't want to be single. Um, Aquarius, you do not want to be single. And so Pisces, tell me about Pisces. Pisces, what's going on? Oh. You may have met a new love on social media. Tell me about 
Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. First card out, Pisces, you got a new passionate beginning being offered. You got to recover from this communication because it's causing you a tower moment. Almost like you can't believe what you're hearing. You got to take a minute to think about it. This relationship, oh, you might be holding back. Obsessed with obsessed with your wish fulfillment. What's your wish fulfillment? To wait. To wait. Somebody wants to hook up with you. But you're like, oh, let me think about this. Let me think about this. But this is a relationship that you may hold back because you're obsessed with your wish fulfillment to wait. So you may want to take your time to get to know this person before you dive on into that new passionate beginning. So Pisces, you do have new love coming in, but uh, I, I agree with you. Slow your roll. Take your time. Figure it out. It'll work out to your highest good. So guys, that's all I have for you. If that resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you all have a blessed week.